This is the Convene Podcast. My name is Maggie, Digital Media Editor. The World Hospital at Home Congress is helping advance the growing and critical service of bringing healthcare to people's homes around the world. How a medical conference is driving healthcare innovation. Written and read by Jennifer N. Deans, Senior Editor of Convene. Of the many rapid-fire changes the healthcare field experienced during the pandemic, perhaps some of the quickest to evolve were healthcare delivery models and services offered outside the hospital. A natural outgrowth of patients' concerns about being treated at a hospital and potentially exposing themselves to COVID, they also served to relieve hospitals stretched beyond capacity treating COVID patients. Telemedicine and telehealth services, most notably, grew by leaps and bounds. For example, nearly three-quarters of physicians surveyed in 2022 by the American Medical Association, or the AMA, reported using telehealth in their medical practices, triple the percentage of physicians who reported using it in 2018 in pre-pandemic times. Another is Hospital at Home, or HAH, a delivery model that offers acute care, defined as a level of health care in which a patient is treated for a brief but severe episode of illness that is a result of disease or trauma and during recovery from surgery in a patient's home versus in a hospital. HAH can include, for example, in-person visits from health care providers, a virtual care team, wearable medical devices, and more. Like telehealth, HAH has been in practice for decades, but quickly expanded in the U.S. in 2020 when the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, relaxed regulations to fruit capacity for hospitals and practitioners during COVID. That led to CMS launching the Acute Hospital Care at Home Waiver Program the same year, increasing access by offering reimbursement to hospitals. Globally, HAH is growing too. More and more countries are adopting the model, and new societies supporting it have popped up around the world. A conference devoted to the model, the biannual World Hospital at Home Congress, is gearing up for its fourth edition, to be held in Vienna, Austria, March 27th through 29th in 2025, and is anticipated to be its largest yet. Pushing the Boundaries The World Hospital at Home Congress targets anyone from healthcare practitioners to decision makers and technology experts and anyone interested in pushing the boundaries of healthcare, said Maria Giorgiova, program and attendance manager at Geneva, Switzerland-based professional conference organizer Keynes Group, which developed and organizes the Congress. Comprised of dozens of scientific sessions exploring the latest innovations, research findings, and real-world implementations advancing this specific model of care, it also includes an exhibit space showcasing everything from medical devices and tools to tech platforms and beyond. The primary objective in establishing the first and only international forum dedicated to hospital at home was to create a platform where healthcare practitioners, decision makers, and technology experts could exchange knowledge, network, and advance the hospital at home model, Georgiova told Convene. Before the first ever edition of the Congress held in Madrid in 2019, the hospital at home field had yet to establish a formal community or even an official definition. Since then, the Congress has accomplished both and more. The 2019 Congress marked the first time hospital at home practitioners from various countries and in some cases even neighboring cities convened, which provided a great boost in confidence and collaboration and ultimately led to the formation of an international community, Georgiova said. It's unsurprising then that some of the offerings that garnered the most interest during that first edition were those designed for participants to connect with each other in one-on-one meetings and campfire discussions. Other popular experiences included the House of Demonstrations, an on-site set that showcased different solutions for treating patients at home, and opportunities to see example of Spain's hospital at home model firsthand, including visits to a hospital and a patient's home. During the hospital visit, the local practitioners explained the administrative side of the job, how they organize their schedules and home visits, 
what equipment they have, and how it's stored, Georgieva said. Attendees viewed the hospital's on-site hospital at home unit, where patients are referred from the emergency department prior to being transferred to their homes, or in some countries, only after initially being admitted to the hospital. Since that first edition, which earned silver in the brand experience healthcare category in Event X 2020 Global Event Awards, the Congress has grown significantly. The Congress in 2023 was much bigger than the previous editions, both in terms of delegates and number of sessions and posters, Georgieva said. The 2023 Congress, held in Barcelona, attracted 670 total registrants, including 620 in person and 50 online, while attendance at previous editions were slightly more than 400. Georgieva said that the upcoming 2025 Congress has already received a record number of session proposal submissions, and her team expects around 1,000 attendees from 40 countries. This growth has prompted the organizers to keep expanding the Congress's offerings. So far, they've established a dedicated online community and learning portal available 24-7. And at the 2023 Congress, they introduced the Hospital at Home Tech Summit. Focused on the latest advancements in hospital at home technology, the summit aims to bring together leading experts from academia and industry to, quote, discuss opportunities to embed tech in hospital at home to help programs from around the world scale and reach the highest quality and best patient clinician experience, Georgieva said. She added that they plan to introduce more new offerings at upcoming editions, specifically elements that allow attendees to further personalize their experience. Quote, anyone who has any interest in any aspect of hospital at home, from clinicians to regulators, payers, technology companies, anyone interested in home-based care in general should be here, said Bruce Leff, MD, co-chair of the Congress and director of the Center for Transformative Geriatric Research at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. This is where you're going to meet your tribe, find your people who are doing the best in practice, research, training, and teaching in hospital at home. A healthy trend. Experts say hospital at home will only continue to grow due to a number of benefits the healthcare model provides. Hospital at home can reduce costs in the long run, according to the American Hospital Association, and a recent Time report states that a growing number of studies show that outcomes are as good or even better than if patients received in-hospital treatment. Another plus of hospital at home care is the ability to offer care to underserved or more remote communities, Time also pointed out. And a recent article in Healthcare Innovation cites McKinsey and Company research indicating that up to $265 billion worth of care services, which represents up to 25% of the total cost of care for Medicare fee-for-service and Medicare Advantage beneficiaries, could shift from traditional facilities to the home by 2025 without a reduction in quality or access. However, for the U.S. at least, the future of hospital at home seems unclear as the CMS waiver program, which provides regulatory flexibility for hospitals to provide inpatient level care in patients' homes and to receive reimbursement, is due to expire at the end of 2024 if Congress doesn't grant an extension. Prior to the waiver program, about 20 hospital at homes programs existed in the U.S., whereas post-waiver, more than 300 hospitals across 129 health systems and 37 states are operating hospital at home programs. If you enjoyed this episode, do give us a five-star review and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For more industry insights, visit bcma.org slash convene. Until next time.